Tanisha J. I'm back with another YouTube video for you guys. Today is actually not going to be a wig tutorial. It's not going to be a wig review. It's not going to be anything but me just talking to you guys about wigs and natural hair. So today's video is not going to be really that long or anything like that. It's just going to be like some quick facts because when I wear my wigs to school, like I get mad questions about it. Like, so how do you put that on? So how does that work? So, where's your real hair? Underneath? Is it in braids? Does that hurt? And like, I just be looking at them like, no, 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 what? So, before we get any deeper into this video, I want to say thank you so much to all my subscribers. And even if you haven't subscribed already and you're just viewing, thank you so much for taking the time out to click on this video. And I also want to say that I super duper 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 apologize for not uploading for like the past two weeks. No, I was like, nope, I got to I gotta do a video today. I got, where's the camera? Yeah, so now I'm here. So, um, I'm trying to think. Oh. Stay tuned for the story time videos. I will be uploading story time videos, and I think that somewhere along the line, I'll be doing a get ready with me video. Um, I really have to find the time to do and, that. Um, I'm also gonna be doing kind of like a triple triple upload thing this weekend because I haven't uploaded any videos, and people have been asking me like, when are you gonna do an upload? Are you gonna do short hair? This and that. So I will have a um cut and style short hair video for you guys i'll have the sam's beauty update for you guys and the aliexpress update for you guys because i did actually take the curls out of that unit straightened it cut bangs into it so like i'll review all that stuff for you guys in a different video but today we're just going to talk about strictly wigs and hair so what is a wig in simple definition, I think that a wig is really just like a quick sewing. There are like different types of wigs. All wigs have tracks sewn onto the cap. Um, the hair does not come directly from the stocking cap. You'll be surprised of how many people thought that. And I was just like, why? Why would you say that? But, but yeah, so the hair does not come out directly from the cap. It's on tracks that are sewn onto a cap. They have um, ventilated caps, which leave space between each track so your hair can breathe underneath. And um, there's like different types. Of, there's different types of constructions of, of wigs. So if you get like more into it, you'll see like there's three combs in this one, no combs in this one, adjustable straps in this one, adjustable straps not in this one. So yeah, it can get kind of complicated, but not that hard so when you're putting on a wig you really just need some edge control and a wig cap because the wig cap protects your hair and also make sure you have a smooth circuit surface to put the wig on and you want to make sure your hair is in braids that's way that way it's easier for you to just like put your combs in because if your hair is in a bun when you're trying to like adjust the wig on your head it's gonna your hair's gonna be like shifting underneath if you don't have a wig cap and it's gonna be like really uncomfortable i don't I wouldn't, um, yeah. How many braids do you need underneath? There's not really a specific number. You can do like four, you can do two, you can do six. You can do 12 in your hair. It doesn't matter as long as the braids is going like straight back and you don't have no like twisted up pattern that would stop the wig cap from laying as flat as possible on your head because that's what you want. Um, There's also different textures of wigs. Um, Obviously, if you go online and you type in synthetic wigs or you type in human hair wigs, there's going to be a a huge significant um difference between the two because human hair wigs are like three hundred dollars and up i mean i'm pretty sure you can find one for like a hundred dollars or so eighty dollars or so but human hair wigs are super expensive and the longer you get the more they cost um and, and synthetic wigs are like anywhere from like ten to fifty dollars they may be more depending on what type of synthetic wig you got um, they have lace fronts to where the front is, um, so super, like, realistic to where you can't even tell it's a wig. It actually thinks, like, this is your real hair. And you have, like, hairlines that are custom made already to fit to your hairline. I don't think that every hairline is gonna be able to fit to your head. So you might have to shape it a certain way or whatever. And that just depends on how you cut the lace. The lace comes in front of the wig, as I show you guys in all my videos i think i do at least i hope i do um yeah it comes with lace in the front that you cut off and that lace is really there to help you make the wig line fit to your hairline to look realistic 
Clap it up. If you are wearing a wig, it does not mean that you are bald. People have like a serious misconception that if you're wearing weave or you're wearing a wig, it means that you have no hair. And that's not true. Wigs to me is another hairstyle. Like all you're doing is protecting your hair from potential heat damage, hair breakage, hair loss, any type of damage that could be done to your hair. You're really just protecting it. Like if you're wearing a wig, how does that automatically mean that you're bald? I don't get it. Like... Um, one more thing that I want to mention about the wig part of this video is that if you want to buy a wig and you want to wear it or you want to at least just see how it looks or you're thinking about buying a wig for the first time, this is what I suggest you do. You go to the store, the beauty supply store, and you try on wigs. You try on every style of wig you can think of. And what you do is you just sit there and you really have to play with it and see if this might be for you because when I first started like really reading about wigs and seeing them watching YouTube videos about them I was like before you know when people think about wigs they think about big afro hair so when I was like looking up the wigs I was like I never knew that they had long straight wigs they had long wavy wigs they had synthetic and human hair wigs like I never knew all of this stuff so now that I'm like looking at all of these different types of wigs and all these different types of products and things you can do with them it opened my eyes to like a whole new hairstyle I'm like why am I cutting dying straightening my own hair putting damage to my own hair to just change my hairstyle when I could just buy a wig and voila new hairstyle so yeah, I don't want to be sitting here babbling for too long about wigs and all of this other stuff but I do want to mention a couple things about your natural hair it's important that you taking care of you're taking care of your natural hair underneath the wig like you can't just be shoving your wig on with a wig cap and your hair looks like this i mean some days you can but not all the time you want to do that because that kind of defeats the purpose of protecting your hair so what i suggest you do is get a wash and set a deep condition something like that to um make sure your hair stays moisturized and it's not just dry underneath your wig and then you put your wig cap on top and stuff like that and when you want to give your wig a break you take it out you have to be careful with the combs and the wigs because sometimes it can cause hair loss at the edges because if you have it on too tight or if it feels too snug it'll start to pull out your hair in the front thank goodness that has not happened to me but you don't want that to happen to you so that's why i'm telling you and um yeah that basically concludes this wig one-on-one -on -one video if you have any ideas of um reviews you want to see for a wig maybe you're too scared to buy it you want to see how it looks first out the packaging come it did comment it below and i will do a review on it um basically that's it make sure you stay tuned for the other videos and later